Welcome to Let's Talk Sport and Sports Kia for today's preview of Tottenham versus Crystal Palace taking place in the Premier League this Wednesday. The first ever game at the new stadium, the Spurs Stadium I think it's called, New White Hart Lane, whatever sponsorship name they get in the next six months is going to be called that. But nevertheless, in the new stadium, first ever game in the Premier League. They've had a couple of games already there and it's looking quite nice, isn't it? The yeah, new stadium. It's, it's looking really good and actually it's going to have an immense atmosphere because it's such a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, certainly has been. And uh, well, they're going to want to bounce back after that terrible loss of the weekend to Liverpool. The own, own goal from Anderveld in the closing minutes of the game, resulting in their 2-1 loss against Liverpool, uh, falling back on the chase for the top four spots. But Pochettino back on the bench now after his suspension. Um, you know, and the side's going to be looking to win their first league game since the start of February. You know, they've done well in the Champions League, beating Borussia Dortmund, things like that. Um, but, you know, they want to get that win underneath their belt in order to stay in the top four hunt. I mean, this 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 has to be the game that they have to win, isn't it? Oh, they yeah. can't lose in the new stadium to begin with. No, well, I mean, if, if that wasn't a pressure enough, being in the new stadium point, they really do need to win, don't they? To just yeah. put a nice seal on it, create some nice memories. But they're not going to be complacent after the shocker mm. on the weekend. Mm. They knew they were really unlucky. It was the worst way almost to lose when they played quite well. So they'll really want to bounce back from that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Steph, for certain, Hugo Lloris as well. After that blunder <laughs> of a save in the closing minutes, oh, what were you thinking? Just, he had the chance to catch it and just keep it out. But instead, he palmed it away, fell to Anderwald, he couldn't do enough to react. Um, but if it, wasn't, if it didn't fall to Anderwald, it would have fallen to Origi and he still would have knocked it in and that would have been the end of it. Um, but, you know, Hugo Lloris, you know, is he in danger of losing his position on the pitch you think at the moment i think he is in danger actually i mean mm. he's made a couple of mistakes and that one was atrocious oh mm. you know you've got to just play the full 90 minutes and keep going and it was unnecessary yeah. most other keepers would have kept that out yeah certainly would have uh, what what else are we expecting from this this spurs team you know they definitely want to get back to winning ways and you know Harry Kane needs to start firing now, doesn't he? Deli Ali as well, Son too. Um, you know, you would expect them with this being in their new stadium that they, you know, they should be able to go out and win this game. Those kind of free, free players. I would expect them. They've got really good players in that squad. Mm. I just don't know what's going on at the minute. They just don't seem to be able to pull it all together. They're not really shining like they like I'd expect. Mm. Having said that, they actually were very much the better team in the second half over the weekend. Yeah. So there's no reason if they play like that again, they won't get a win over Palace. Yeah, certainly true. Crystal Palace coming into this game, 2-0 victory against Huddersfield, relegating Huddersfield. Uh, Van, Van Anderhol once more being the culprit of relegation sides. Uh, Hull and Stoke over the past three seasons along with Huddersfield. He's Mr. Relegation basically now, basically Mr. Relegation Causer, whatever nickname you want to give him. Uh, Mid-table finish expected for Roy Hodgson and his men uh, at Crystal Palace. You know, Zaha, Wambasaka have been, you know, excellent for Crystal Palace this season. It's going to be really tough for Palace to hold on to those two over the summer, isn't it? With big clubs coming calling. It will be hard and actually, you know, they've not done bad this season. Actually, they've got a nice secure mid-table finish, which they, they're likely to, you know, to keep. They're not, they're mm -hmm. not going anywhere in that respect, but you know, those players don't want to be there. They no. want to be winning some medals. Yeah. Where do you think this game's going to be won and lost, really, for both sides? You know, what do Tottenham need to do to win the game and what do Palace need to do to win the game, do you think? Well, I think they'll be, it'll be quite cagey. And Tottenham have to go out there positive and go for some goals. Yeah. Crystal Palace are going to try and hold them, I reckon. Yeah. Um, they've been... Crystal Palace, I think they've like, well, they won, lost, won, lost, won. Yeah. So, I, if they come out of this and hold them well and get a draw, I think they'll be quite happy because they know it's going to be quite a difficult atmosphere in that stadium, I expect. Yeah. So they've really got it against them. It's definitely one of the side, one of the stands of the stadium as well. It's got a huge, goes all the way to the top from the bottom, no no levels in it whatsoever, mm. like a wall essentially. And you know, if that's filled to the, to the rim, then it's going to be an excellent atmosphere. It could be uh, quite oppressive for Palace, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it could be quite intimidating as well. Um, you know, but Palace do have the results against Spurs, beat them in the FA Cup and only lost 1-0 to them early on in the season. But what do you think the score is going to be in this game? Tottenham versus Crystal Palace? I actually wouldn't be surprised if it's a draw. Yeah. I could probably see it as a one-all draw. Mm. Um, I think both of them are going to be, as I say, I think it's going to be quite a cagey match. And I think unless Tottenham take the ball by the horns and go out there quite positive and do play really forward, mm. I think they're not going to get a result out of it. I, I think I think Tottenham are going to win this. I think the pressure under this stadium, they have to win this game. Mm. And the fact they haven't won since February as well, 
Poch back on the bench, you know, I think it's going to be promising. So I, I'm actually going to go for a 3-1 victory for Tottenham against Palace. I think Kane and Son certainly got the firepower in order to get the job done. So I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory for Tottenham against Palace.